every challenge has a solution. As referenced by Wenger and Sandra, most of us may have heard about or even watched some of the footage from a recent undercover investigative work of journalism, which we're told took about a year to put together. It was the result of a series of staged encounters between the targeted so-called professors and even men of God and reporters posing as students in both the University of Lagos and the University of Ghana. The aim was to uncover the common knowledge and experience of students that professors prey on them for sex in exchange for grades or other academic favors. Suffice it to say, the media investigators were not disappointed. This recent expose leads me to make several deductions. One, that actually seeing is believing as far as our national state of decadence and corruption is concerned. Things have reached such a stage that unless we're confronted with the crude reality, we don't seem to be arrested from our zombie-like sleepwalk through life. Also, that such expositions are a weapon for change. I've always believed this, but somehow seeing it in action drove the point home for me. It is clear that advocacy can be most powerful on this front. Now, some may say that after we've watched this and it's trended on social media, then what? So what? But I put it to you that at least for the time being, a lot of these so-called predator professors will be afraid to brazenly prey on their students in this way, since they don't know which female students have a hidden camera on them. What we then look forward to is institutions taking over from here and doing something about it. Although it is pitiful um, and even pathetic that the institutions confronted, Unilag and may I call it Unigana, claim that they are strong advocates against female sexual harassment. <laughs> That's laughable. In the, sight of, in the light of the fact that we find that the majority testimony is that sexual harassment is the norm. It's a culture. So clearly they can't be strong on it or they would have uncovered what's under their very noses. So what do I propose? We, the citizens, have to continue from here and hold these shameless individuals and institutions to account. Essentially, my advocacy is really that we need more of this in the media and we need more students to be bold enough to report it to the advocates and the media. Together, we need to uncover these stories and connect the victims to legal bodies who will then bring an action against the perpetrators. In this way, we can bring it to light and stamp it out. Our social cru crusade must be hottest in our educational institutions, which are at the helm of national transformation. Let us make Nigeria uncomfortable and hot for the predators amongst us. Mm, Why do you add it to Chika? You know the funny, <laughs> you know the funny thing? I, 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 I get to see students from Yaba Tech and Uni, like architecture students, uh, quite a bit. And I've, won I've often wondered whether, because no one has ever spoken to me about it, and I've often wondered whether it happens in a lot in that That's sort of department. department because I think it can vary actually from yeah it varies. it varies you know maybe a kind of course is yeah. not does not have the kind of personalities as professors or students that that will uh, thrive oh, really? yes in Nigerian you know, University there are some so, courses that are how man would do uh, it, uh, so, yeah. I, so I, it is prevalent I, but now I'm going to uh, so I'm not, <laughs> now I'm going to actually take I'm going to do my own little um, so investigation. investigation. Yes. Well, but does that matter? No, yeah, but, but, so but I don't really, know whether I can, I, what I can do. No, I, I, really. I can't be going there and behaving like I'm spreading knowledge and everything. Then I go in and then I, I leave and yeah, we, business as usual. Mm, you're not going to pass you're unless not, you do this. You're not. I mean, I'm coming re, there really, too. Really, uh, can you say yeah. something that um, the university should take it up from here, which mm. had always been my you know, advocacy? It's not just sex for Marx. There are situations where the lecturer will stand right in front of the class and say, in my time, nobody made first class, and so nobody will make first class here. OK, there's that as well, yes. That's also harassment. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. You know? And what are the universities doing? A situation where the students you are teaching are not bold enough to question. I had a situation where, in year two, the lecturer you know, cited two authorities, and I said, there is a, an authority, Bernard and Huggins that conflicts with the authorities that you have cited. And he asked me, who are you? I'm an authority in this cause. Who are you to challenge my, you know? Uh, because, you know, some of us that stayed at home for three years before we entered the university. And so we were lawyers before we started reading law. <laughs> and so I stood my ground. And the next day, 
the next day, the woman, lady professor, she came back to class and she called me out and said she had actually checked it and that she owned up that she, she was a woman. Yes, woman. And, 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 <laughs> does that you know, have anything to do with that? Have, I wonder, <laughs> no, my ego was blocking her. Bobadia, <laughs> Professor Bobadia, <laughs> let me oh, you know, okay, give her okay. that. Uh, I remember in law school, before law school, as a university undergraduate, we had a um, um, mode of dressing, we called it the dress code, and there were sanctions for not you know, being properly dressed. So also universities can introduce, because some of them are complaining that the dressing uh, the the yeah. dress girls yeah, dress to harass to them. No. You know, yeah. but for no, me, but it's me. neither here nor there because no, you, to, you are an adult. Even if a girl in. is wearing pants to my class, my own is a teacher. I That's can also tell her. There, there is no reason yeah. for yeah. No sexual harassment. Yeah. No, 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 no. So you you can't use, okay, no, you see, he's yeah. using so the woman as example. A man too. I disagree. A man should also not show up in his boxers. No, but if you connect the two, it's almost like you're justifying. No, that's you see, that's the problem with this word political correctness. It is not justification. If somebody dresses provocatively, indecently, or whatever, mm. and, and I don't know where we will draw that line, yes. but I think there are some that everybody will suddenly say it's this crossed is, the line. Yeah. Yeah. Quite honestly, how can you not find a correlation no, no, no. We're between not saying, we're the not bad saying. behavior that then the man or woman exhibits? I'm not suggesting that it's, it's right, mm. but I'm just saying, look, we're, it's stimulus. Isn't that what we yeah. learned in biology? You've been stimulated. Oh, I get your point. I get, I get How can point. we ignore it? But you, you cannot to problem. stimulate you to no, the no, point no, no. of you now committing. Yeah, no, I know that to commit a crime, uh, you have to take step that over decision. The, yes, the exactly. And don't forget. Let, let's try and fight you, you this know, thing let, let me pick you from there. Yeah. From don't, all don't forget, like I tell people, you see, you don't, you don't backslide in one day. Right. It's gradual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. You don't complain that as a lecturer, I dress sexy. It doesn't get into your head in one day. It's gradual. Same way, I will tell you in my class as a lecturer, you can't enter my class this, Dress this way. dressing this way. So you can exactly. arrest and nothing will yes. happen. You can arrest it in that way. Correct? Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Because it is, it's a gradual so, process. You don't yeah. get into someone's head. So that's, I wanted to ask, I mean, but Luberos just took it out of my mind. That Which brings how do you, hold on, how do you, how do you just, how do you come into terms with the baby dear babes? The slave mama, the slave, the slave queens. queens. They are not in school to read, even though they are intelligent, even though they are brainy. They are not in school to read, but they are just in school to slay, to slay, and to frustrate anybody to get their mark. So thank you. So there must be a structure also for the lecturers and the staff in any organization <laughs> for any woman who is also trying to, to slay them. To slay them. That's that's one. Number two. I went to a university. I won't mention the school, a private university, and I found out that. All the lecturers' office, all the offices, all are transparent. Mm. Okay. All. As in the glass. Yes. Glass. As in from the bottom to a particular level, it's um, wood. But from there, you can see, you may what? not hear what they're discussing, some proof somehow, but you will see. Then there are major cameras at some strategic points viewing what is happening. So I think um, that, that's that a good also we learn. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Sandra, you're going to okay, say something. Okay, so um, basically, I think that um, just as he has rightly put it, improving boldness amongst um, students, they would, have the, they would have more audacity to come out openly. And then addressing the issue of um, the slay queens who want to get grades by all means, I think it's simple. Penalty for not reading is failure. So if you're going through a university, a university process, you are the lecturer, you are the professor, you have a level of authority over such students. If a student comes to offer you, okay, I want to pass by all means, what will it cost me? You know what it will cost you. If you want to, if you want to read or if you want to pass an exam, you read. If you don't read, you fail. It's as simple as that. That, I think, is the solution. Okay, well, we've preferred our solutions. Now it's time for you to tender yours, or at least your viewpoint. On Weibo Dear, <laughs> Florence O.K. Allison says, to dial back would be to start schooling the children or youth on these issues. On Shore, he who is to come, Jane Anam says, I'm for Shore anytime. Hmm. Sold out supporter. On 59 Years and Beyond, Freedom Ninja says, The fight against these evil politicians is a patriotic cause and we will never end until they are brought to justice. On Medical Malpractice, Rox Omowumi simply says, I love this program. Wow, thanks, Rox. Uh, we're sending love to you too. Do keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. 
To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to www.plustvafrica.com slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Submit or summit. After the break, Libras is balancing the books.